hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please do support me by sharing this video and liking my other videos as well in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a very simple shift dress as well as how to make a pleat from a fabric I'll be using Ankara fabric but you can do this with any fabric you have that has a bold design on it for this project I'll be using this black linen fabric uh, for only the front panel of the dress because I have only 1.7 meters of this fabric and for the back I'll be using this Ankara fabric I'm also going to be getting my applique from this fabric however you can use only one fabric you have if you have enough of it you'll also be needing non-woven interfacing okay other materials we need in are scissors pins matching thread measuring tape markers bias tape in the matching color as well as a ruler to begin fold your fabric in half and draw a horizontal line at the top which will serve as a reference line the first measurement starts in from the reference line is half of the ham hole measurement which is eight inches for me and I'll square that out. Next, mark the shoulder to waist measurement and square it out. Mine was, uh, mine is 17 inches. The next horizontal measurement is the waist to hip measurement, which is also known as the hip depth, and mine is 9 inches. Just mark your measurement on your fabric. Next, Mark the desired dress length. I made mine about 25 inches. Yeah. Determine how long you want your sleeve to be, measuring from the middle of your neck all the way to the, your desired length. And mark this on the first reference line. Divide your bust circumference by 4 and add 4 inches or less for ease. Next. Mark the waist circumference divided by 4 and also add about 4 inches for ease. The hip measurement divided by 4 as well as ease and mark this on the hip line which is the fourth reference line. Square all your measurements out. Join all the points together and carve the armhole. I lost the clip where I showed how to measure the neck hole, however, I measured 3 inches by 4 inches and I cut the center front open um, 6 inches down, okay? For the pleated sleeve attachment, I didn't have a particular measurement in mind, I just evened out the edges of the leftover fabric to make two long rectangles for making the pleats. Cut out the back panel using the front panel as a template. For the back neckline, mark down 1 inches and create the neck curve and cut it out. And now for the front part, the applique. Depending on what fabric you decide to use, select the pattern you want to cut out. Okay, it will be fine as well. When you're done cutting out the portion you want, take out a small scissors. Although I'm using the regular scissors here, um, you, you can use a small scissors if you want to be really precise. And then cut out the edge of your pattern. Cut as close to the, to the pattern as possible. Be careful not to cut through. It's looking good so far. To stiffen the applique, we'll make use of the non-woven interfacing. Cut the portion that you would need and um, place the applique on the fusible side of the interfacing and press with an iron. Once you're done pressing, cut out the excess interfacing around the pattern. 
And now it's time to attach the applique to the garment. Position it any way you want it on the front panel of the dress and secure it by pinning all around the applique. After pinning, take it to the sewing machine. Using the zigzag stitch, sew around the applique. This might take a little while, but with a little patience, you'll get it right. This flower has a lot of twists and turns and corners, but you have to sew really slowly around that. Okay now, once you're done attaching the applique, it's time to finish the garment which is the easy part. Place the front and back panels right sides facing together and pin the shoulders together and join with a straight stitch. Do the same for the sides of the dress. To finish up the neckline, place the bias tape on the right side of the garment and pin around. Join together with a straight stitch by sewing at the edge of the bias tape where I am indicating right now. After sewing, flip the bias tape to the inside of the garment and press down with an iron. If you'd like me to make a separate video on how I made pleats using the fork, let me know down in the comment section below and I will do so. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share if you have come this far. After pleating, I close the sleeves by joining the ends with a straight stitch. To attach this to the main sleeve, I turn the dress inside out and place the sleeves inside, making sure the right sides are facing each other. I pinned and sewed around with a straight stitch. The last and final step after this is to hem the dress and if you've attempted this you would have a beautiful dress just like this one to rock for the summer. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, do subscribe to my channel. Support me by sharing and liking this video. See you in my next video guys. Bye.